This will be an introduction into the IR interface for the Fox FT3 thermal mass meter. Um, as you can see here, we've got some little uh, um, circles with F1, F2, F3, F4. Um, those are going to act for the interface when we want to keep this in a classified area. Um, what you can kind of see just a little glimpse of are little hard-coded buttons. So if you take this display off, there are actual push buttons underneath. Um, it, it will make it go a bit quicker as the IR can be somewhat sensitive as it is in here due to the fluorescent lights above. Um, if we want to make uh, changes, um, F1 and F4 um, on the first, well, F1 changes the displays. So you can see if you scroll through, depending on how your displays are set, that F1 takes us through all those. So from display one, which is the startup, if we hit it once, it's going to say set parameter. If we want to make changes to go to programming mode, we say OK. We hit one, two, three. And like I said, the interface with the IR with the wrong conditions for lighting can sometimes take a little bit longer, but still great to keep it uh, rated for the hazardous area that you're in. Um, hit OK. Now we've got your I.O., your flow parameters, the display and exit. So all those four um, areas are pretty self-explanatory. We've got your communication settings, I.O., 4 to 20 parameters. Under flow, we've got Diagnosis, unit, uh, a whole bunch of other things are buried in these menus here. The display. So this will change kind of how the IR, um, the display itself, password. So that's just a quick intro into how the IR interface works for the FD3 Fox thermal mass meter.